Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick kind of what sold video. So I'm going to talk about a few items that have sold in the last week on eBay. Just to give you an idea of what's going on lately. Uh, you can see this first one here, this little bodycon stretchy dress um, did not sell for big money and sometimes you just have to let things go because they just weren't the greatest purchase to begin with so someone sent me an offer I accepted um, and just got it out of here I think it ended up selling for like $9, uh, which was fine. It just needed to go. I didn't lose money because it, um, the dress was like a dollar, a dollar fifty or something like that. So that's just an example of just not a great buy. And, um, but hey, it is what it is. I made a couple of bucks on it and someone got a great deal. The next one uh, was a fun sale. I purchased this Harley Davidson men's 2XL denim, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> embroidered short sleeve shirt on March 17th. And it literally sold within 12 hours. And I received an offer for $35, and I went ahead and accepted that. I could have held out maybe for a little longer, for $40, $45, uh, but I just figured, you know what? I just purchased the shirt. It was um, part of that Goodwill haul that I talked about this morning in a video. And so my cost of goods um, was $6. So $6 into $35 within 12 hours. Uh, the person paid $20 in shipping uh, because they were in Canada. I was able to purchase the shipping label on Pirate Ship. I use Pirate Ship a lot for international. I always use Pirate Ship for international. They have the best rates. And I also use it when I just need to purchase um, shipping labels to, you know, like ship a package to my family or they just have the best rates. Anyhow, so I basically turned in or turned $6 into $42 within and. 12 hours. So very happy, very pleased with that sale. The next sale is this vintage women's Santana knit skirt in yellow, and it was a size 12. It was very similar to the St. John Santana knit. I don't know if it was St. John because all the labels were removed. Um, there was one small uh, tag on the inside seam, like along the side, uh, that read size 12. That's the only reason why I knew uh, the size on it. Otherwise, all the other tags were removed, but it was a very nice quality, high quality skirt. So I think the buyer will be very pleased when they receive uh, that skirt. The next item I'd like to talk about, oh, and I had that skirt probably for two years. Uh, cost of goods on that was a dollar. Uh, the next item is this Ralph Lauren Black Label Women's XL Quilted Coat. It had the Sherpa collar. It was like a plaid uh, print, like the herringbone print. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I accepted an offer of $50 on that jacket. Um, as you can see, I had it listed for $99.99, and then I was running a 30% off sale, and someone sent me an offer of $50, and I went ahead and accepted it. We're going into spring. Um, 
this isn't the season where people are necessarily uh, searching for jackets. So instead of sitting on it for another year or seven, eight, nine months until fall, I figured, you know what, it's $50. I believe my cost of goods was four or five dollars. So very pleased with that sale. Uh, the next item is this vintage black Valerie Stevens beaded evening bag. I showed this in a recent haul. My cost of goods was two or three dollars. And it's funny because I was thinking, oh, this is probably a bad buy. But I went ahead and listed it and it sold Within a few days, I sent out offers, uh, and it sold for, I believe it was $16.95. It's so weird how eBay, because this is, these are my sold listings, so I don't understand why um, it doesn't reflect the price that the item actually sold for, so it's kind of weird, but... Um, anyhow, I thought that was something interesting to consider when going out to the thrift stores is looking for vintage evening bags that are, uh, higher quality and in very good condition. So that was a nice little sale. I am going to jump off of here and get to bed, guys. I just wanted to talk about those few sales. And I will do another one of these probably tomorrow for Poshmark sales. All right, good night.